גלעד הזבינלד for 1,556 days by the terror organization חמאס. The denies גלעד visits and other basic human rights. We have no information whatsoever about the condition in which Gilad is being held. Almost a year has gone by since we received the last sign of life from Gilad. We receive a videotape in which he appears to be physically functioning. But he was very pale, very thin, and his eyes were sunken and black. We ask the Red Cross and all international humanitarian organizations who work for prisoner of war to help us and act more decisively, decisively for Gilad. At the end of June this year, we enter the fifth years of Gilad captivity and we are determined to make it the last. My mother has asked me to say on her behalf that we all appreciate your support and ask you to join in our uncompromising struggle for the rescue of Gilad's life. Each and every one of us has the ability to make a small change and all of us together can make a big difference to help to release my brother. Thank you all. Jacob Kellenberger, the president of the Red Cross, has reached out a hand of friendship to the Hamas and the Hezbollah. Indeed, as we speak, three Hamas terrorists are enjoying diplomatic protection in the offices of the Red Cross in Jerusalem, where they have set up shop and they're currently holding press conferences from those offices. The Red Cross continues to visit all Hamas prisoners in Israeli prisons, making sure that they're treated with dignity and fairness in conformity with international conventions, which they are. Meanwhile, Gilad Shalit is prevented from any contact whatsoever with the outside world and is being used illegally as a bargaining chip in order to release thousands of prisoners and hundreds of terrorists with blood on their hands. All of these are blatant breaches of international conventions which are being ignored by the Red Cross while they have yet to even visit Gilad Shalit. We call upon you, Jacob Kellenberger, from this square to set aside the double standard to return to simple human rights advocacy. We call upon you to return to the vision of Henri Donon. We call upon you to advance human rights in Gaza. We call upon you to stop collaborating with terrorist organizations. We call upon you to ensure that Gilad Shalit is receiving the necessary medical attention to visit him and then to publish a report on his health and his captivity conditions. By bearing the symbol of the Red Cross, you identify yourself as a Christian organization. Allow me to refer to your holy scriptures. In Matthew 25, it's recorded that Jesus said when he comes back, he will separate the just from the unjust, the sheep from the goats. He will tell the goats that when he was naked, they did not clothe him. When he was hungry, they did not feed him. And when he was sick and in prison, they did not visit him. When they asked when all this actually happened, he'll say, as much as you have done it to the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. Jacob Kellenberger, will you and your organization be sheep or goats today? Perhaps Gilad Shalit is the least of these brethren. Will you honor your self-defined faith by visiting him when he is sick and in prison? We call from this stage to all people of democracy and freedom to challenge the double standards of the international human rights community. We call upon you to stop supporting terrorist organizations which advance human wrongs under the guise of human rights. Kellenberger, you must choose today between advancing simple human rights or running a complicated business. And I want to speak to all of you who may donate or support the International Red Cross. The next time before you write a check, please ask the representatives of the Red Cross, what have you done to visit Gilad Shalit?